If you guys are really into aesthetics, this is not the PC build for you, but if you're really into the absolute best bang for buck, this one's for you. 12 cores, 24 threads, a GPU with eight gigs of VRAM for only $250. Don't believe me, we're about to show you how, but first, a word from today's sponsor. Today's video is brought to you by Nexigo and their Gen 2 Grip Cons and NS32 controller. Both controllers have six axes gyroscope for tilt controls and dual vibration motors for immersive haptic response. This allows you to fully immerse yourself in your gameplay, improving the experience immensely. They also have customizable RGB lights around the thumbsticks, allowing for a nice, unique aesthetic. The Hall Effect GripCon features Hall Effect thumbsticks, which use an electromagnetic sensor as opposed to a physical sensor. This prevents stick drift from developing over time, as the dust, oil, and debris that build up over time can't prevent the sensor from making connection. The NS32 is compatible with all versions of the Nintendo Switch, including the Switch Lite and OLED Switch. Since it uses a Bluetooth connection, you can even use it with a Windows PC, Mac, iPhone, and Android. This makes it a great universal gaming controller. Nexigo is even giving away one of their Aura Pro projectors. The Aura Pro is a 4K tri-laser projector valued at $3,000, and it will blow you away with its ultra-wide color gamut and spectacular brightness. Use secret code Toasty Bros for five bonus entries through the link in the description down below. And if you can't wait, check out their website to buy these amazing products today. Big thanks to Nexigo for sponsoring today's video. Now, let's get back to it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this right here is what we like to call the AliExpress combo. Now, you can get these from many different retailers, uh, such as Wish and eBay as well, but AliExpress Express seems to always have the best bang for buck. This motherboard right here has the E5 2650 V4, which is a 12 core, 24 thread. And as you can see, the motherboard, it's an interesting <laughs> theme. It's kind of overwatchy in all honesty. Uh, you get like a yellow and white and orange theme. You know, we didn't really plan super well for that because when you're spending this little amount of money, you can't really do color schemes that you wanna do. But it does come with an IO shield. And obviously, since it is a combo, you get the motherboard, which is a Qyida. You get a Intel Xeon E5 2650v4. And then you also get the RAM, which I kind of took out accidentally. But this should be 16 gigs of DDR4. And it's just two sticks. And it's the same brand. Let's see, do we even have the speed? Uh, 3200. So DDR4, 3200, two eight gig sticks. So that'd be pretty good. And then it does come with this bracket, which is really nice, especially for these higher end like 2011 boards uh, where getting coolers is kind of difficult. So what we managed to find was, um, <laughs> is this. That. The V12, the V400. Take your pick. It doesn't really matter what you want to call it. <laughs> what matters is that it's an Intel AMD cooler and it looks pretty interesting. Yeah, it's like one of those like low profile, profile yeah. kind of coolers. It's interesting, it has the same latch that'll work on the bracket, but the big selling point with these combos, this whole combo with the RAM CPU motherboard was 50 bucks. And this is- Add digress. Add digress. Add digress. <laughs> uh, dude, this is the like cheapest feeling cooler I've ever felt. Is this gonna actually cool it? I mean, we'll it, it, it almost just feels like plastic. It's crazy, but uh, I think it'll probably be just fine. So yeah, that'll be, that'll be fun to mount on there. You really, if you wanted to, you could even get like a tower cooler, but this is a cool little switch up and we'll see how well it actually does. And this one also comes with the mounting. Now for the SSD, we have a team group 512 gig SSD. This is a two and a half inch drive. These do have M.2s on them, but we normally don't recommend them because they can be pretty sketchy. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. These things always work though. And they're plenty fast. You can buy these on Amazon, eBay, wherever. And for the GPU, we have an interesting story with this one. This is a GTX 1080, which we originally bought a GTX 1066 gig. And the seller sent us this, a 1088 gig. Really awesome, well, spur of luck here that kind of made this build possible at $250. If you guys hunt regularly for budget hardware, you can stumble upon some good deals like we did with this 1080 and get a bit lucky. And for the power supply, of course, we had to go with a Zalman unit. This is the Zalman 500 watt instead of the 600 watt we normally use. 80 plus bronze power supply, perfectly fine for this PC build and a very reliable unit we use a ton at PC Bros, our PC selling business. Use code Toys Bros 2 and check out the same 2%. And lastly, for the case, we got this Zalman Z1 case, which is a really awesome deal at $59. Comes with three pre-installed fans, an all-black design, and really with this build not looking super pretty, I didn't want to get a super crazy RGB case. I just wanted something that was going to be good price performance-wise. So all in all, this build for $250 looks absolutely insane on paper, but we got to build it and find out if it's actually worth building at home. So let's get right to it and do some benchmarks.
All right, gamers, we are kicking things off with Fortnite. 1080p, 120 FPS lock performance settings, far view distance, and low textures across the board. And um, yeah, this will definitely be a game where we're going to see how bad the bottleneck will be with this Xeon having all these cores and a low clock speed. Uh, Fortnite definitely benefits from having a very fast CPU. So we'll see how well it holds up, or basically just see how well performance mode works in Fortnite. I really think Fortnite has come a long way with their performance mode. This is definitely better than I expected. I was worried this would be the one game where I'm like, well, this is a good PC, but... Bye-bye. Yeah, buddy. Give me that crown. Kidding me? This guy's gonna try to snipe me, isn't he? Not before I snipe him. Oh, oh you son of a I had a feeling that was gonna happen. I got stuck in such a bad spot, but hey, Fortnite on this PC performance settings better than I expected. Uh ran pretty smooth. Um I was expecting more stutter, but so far, pretty good. Let's move on to another game. We we're playing Apex Legends, and uh, I decided to kind of turn the settings up a little bit here. So we're on like high, medium, and I turned off or turned on like some of the like volumetric lighting and that stuff just because I think we can handle it with this 1080. Yeah, GTX 1080 is going to help us out a lot here. We're almost hitting that FPS cap on high are, settings. Yeah. $250 PC, pretty good. Where is this person? Jesus. Dude, they came from behind. Oh, no, there's more than one. Oh, no. I need to heal. Ah! Let's get in here, because this PC, I think we're gonna get some some good some good feeds here. Today I'm like today's one of those days where I, I launched Apex. And I was like, I'm I don't think I'm gonna do good today. You know what? You you talk positive, it's gonna happen. The game where you upgrade your gun, like yeah, like buddy. Same thing about not feeling oh, okay with that. I that can't was... believe I got that. Ah! What the freaking crackle? This Pathfinder is mad good, man. He's murking me every single time. Who, Path, who is cool? this guy? Oh, Capybara. Dude, this Pathfinder <laughs> is so good. Hey. Uh, I'm floating. Please reload. Oh, I feel what? like I just. That was real close. Guy. Oh, God. I'm, I'm you can't get heal. Yep. They can't hit me. They can't hit me. They can't. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't care about this freaking thing. Oh, oh my Those God. Those nemesis. Jesus. Well, we definitely uh, we didn't we didn't win that very well. We down a teammate, but the PC though for the price. I mean, guys, you got to get lucky because this is a amazing build for the price. So yeah, let's run 3D Mark Time Spy, get our numbers, and then talk about this PC as a whole. Because hey, 250 dollars really hard to beat. All right, guys, we just got done benchmarking this incredibly cheap and incredibly steal of a deal. And we were able to play AAA titles and eSports titles. The AAA titles were pretty impressive. The fact that under $300, we were able to actually play Apex at almost max settings was pretty intense. And yeah, in terms of Fortnite, you are gonna be a little bit limited with the Xeon CPU having a lower clock speed, but we were still getting 100 plus FPS on average with performance settings. And this really made me curious to see what this thing would do in 3D Mark Time Spy, which when we ran our benchmark, ended up with a score of 7,327, which puts it at three cents per point, which is definitely our best so far when we implemented this testing system with 3D Mark Time Spy. But again, we do have to preface that GTX 1080 deal is a one-off deal that we got very lucky with, but you can get very lucky if you do do some deal hunting yourself. But this is just a proof of concept that with deal hunting and patience, you can build some really awesome budget PCs for $300 or less. And this one is definitely the best example of that. So if you wanna buy anything from today's video, check those links in the description down below. They will be a fill link they will help us out. Let us know what you think of this PC build down below. And if you built anything better, let us know in the comments. So as always, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, check out our other two YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash Toasty Bros. And do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. This PC right here will be available at PCBros.tech at a great price. PCBros.tech, we sell gaming PCs, gaming laptops, and so much more. Use code TOASTYBROS2 on checkout. You'll save 2% your next purchase. See you guys later. Goodbye. Peace.